哇，哇，哇啊，嘟嘟 ，one chunky fat note， 嘟嘟 ，Yeah， Hey， I'm Tommy， and I'm gonna show you how I tune my drums. Tune my drum with this drum key. In part one, I'll be showing you how to tune up my current setup, which has some pretty old heads on it, just to show you how I would tune up before a show or before practice or something. And then in part two, I'm gonna get all new heads, change all the heads out, and I'm gonna show you how to put them on and how to tune the new heads. But it's all about the same stuff, getting in tune, it's pretty easy once you figure it out. I don't give a f if my drums are in tune. And if you're wondering whether or not you have to buy new heads to make your drums sound good, it does matter, yeah, but I still put it off for as long as I can just because they're expensive. If you don't have enough money, then fuck it. Just don't do it. Either way, whatever you got. All right, so I've got my rack tom here. Let's see how it sounds right now. What I'm gonna do is bring it all the way off, detune all the lugs, and then I'm gonna go back and finger tighten everything. Starting with the bottom head. Go around and make sure everything is as tight as I can get it with my fingers. And then, once it's good with my fingers, I'm gonna go around with the drum key and do about a quarter of a turn on each lug in a star pattern. I like to start with the bottom head and get it around where I think I would like it as far as the pitch. So go across. And then you want to make sure they're all still finger tight. So I went across like this. So then you just get the ones you haven't touched yet. Another quarter of a turn. And do it one more time. And you can kind of hear it start to get up a little bit. Let's see where that is. are still really off but starting to hear a note so we can go up a little more and you can kind of feel which lugs are looser than the other ones and if it's super loose you can do more than a quarter of a turn to try and catch up with the other lugs and I can still see some wrinkles in the head so it's not where I want it but let's just see how it sounds That's really high. I think I might have to bring it down. All right, so I think that's a pretty good note. And once you get the pitch in the right area, then you go around the drum and get them all close to the same note. If there are still wrinkles in the head, chances are the lug closest to the wrinkles is too loose. So go to that lug, tighten it up a little bit, and make sure there aren't any wrinkles anywhere. But I like to pick one lug with the pitch that I like, and I go around and match every other lug to that same note. I like that one. Let's match them all to this note. Okay. So it's lower.
All right, so that's good for the bottom head. Now it's time for the top head. Just go around and finger tighten everything before you use your drum key. All right, everything's finger tight, and then you just go around and do another quarter turn. Same thing, the lugs are starting to get loose, so you go back and finger tighten them. And as long as you do that, it should be pretty even. pretty off. So let's keep going. So this is about a half of a turn on the top head so far. Let's see how this sounds. Alright, so that's still pretty off, but let's remember the bottom note. So it's got to be a little bit lower than that note, the ba ba. So it's got to be like ba ba. You want you want the top head to be a little bit lower than the bottom head to get the sound that I like. Some people do the bottom head lower than the top head. Some people do the same note. I I like my drums how they sound when the bottom head is slightly higher though. So let's keep going. fairly even. Let's just check the note. That actually sounds pretty good. So I'm going to go back to the bottom head and fine tune it. This one seems kind of low. See, the difference is so small, it's oftentimes it's really hard to tell, but you can kind of feel it in the vibrations, but right now it's still a little bit off. So, that's good for the bottom, let's check the top again. down I always tune up I always tighten the lugs so if you want to match the note that's lower you can tune down but go past the note and then tune up again so you're always tightening and you're never leaving the lug loose it's going to be pretty good. Yeah, so that sounds better than it did when I started. So that's how you tune the rectum. Do do one chunky fat note. Do do. Yeah. And we're going to do the same for the floor tom as well. Top head is totally loose. So, both heads are completely loose. So same thing, I'm gonna bring up the pitch and I want the bottom to be a little bit higher than the top head. Alright, 
Yeah, so I'll see how that sounds. Uh, I think that's pretty good as far as where I want the note. So I'll go ahead and flip it over and do the top head before I go back and fine tune it. So the bottom's a note, but the top is not. So I go around and I finger tighten everything again. It's such a small window of being too tight and being too loose to where it sounds like plastic. And this drum, I tune it so low and it's hard to get that dialed in, but we're almost there. This one's too loose for sure. I'll just go tighten around a little bit, just a little bit. Top head sounds decent. Let's go back to the bottom head. Okay, so I like this note. So I'm gonna match all the other notes to this slug right here. tune down you always tune up so I'm going this note was a little bit higher so I went down so I made the note lower and now I'm going back up to match it pretty even to me. So let me go back to the top head and see how this sounds. I think that's pretty much good. Let me just double check the top head again. It's a little bit off still. But that's, that's the beauty of the 18 inch floor tom is that because I keep it tuned so low that even when the drum isn't exactly in tune, it's still like really badass because it's more of a thump. It's more of a bass drum sound than a floor tom sound. And it's less of a note and more of like a thump. Like it's more attack than note, if that makes sense. And that's just the way I like it. I like it to be like an extra bass drum for me. So yeah, just check out how this sounds. Yeah, so there you go. There's your floor tom all tuned up. Now for the snare, it's super important to crank the bottom head. You want the bottom head to be pretty tight, not so tight to where it is breaking, but like tabletop tight to where you press down on the head and 
it feels like a table would. Like there's not really any give or there's just like a little bit of give. Cool. Let's go ahead and take this off and I'm just gonna bring all the lugs completely loose. So these are all completely off. And I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and do the bottom head as well. Okay, so both heads are completely loose. And some people have this technique with the bottom head where they do different tensions for the lugs parallel to the snare wires and they do different tensions for the lugs on the side. I haven't really messed around with that too much. I kind of just keep them all even. Uh, but if, if you have a certain technique to where you, on the snare bed, you keep these lugs tighter or looser than the rest of them, feel free to tell me your idea in the comments because I'll try it out. But my technique, I just even it all out and I'm gonna finger tighten everything first. Now I'm gonna do a quarter turn again. You wanna go and make sure they're all finger tight still. And do it again, another quarter. Yeah, and it's still pretty loose, so let's just keep going. And like I said before, you want it to be just about tabletop tight, like tight enough to where you press on it like this and it doesn't really move that much. Cool, so I think that's a good starting point. Let's flip it over to the top head now. And this is still completely loose, so we're gonna go ahead and finger tighten it again. All right, and now I'm gonna go around and do another quarter turn on each lock. You can start to hear it. Get brought up a little bit in pitch. Still pretty far away from where I want it though. Okay, so it's getting pretty tight. That's really close. So I'm gonna go back to the bottom head and see if I can hear the difference on these. It's so hard to tell on the bottom head. I can kind of hear that one being too low. Oh, see, now it's too high. Overall, that sounds pretty even to me, so we're gonna see how this sounds now. That's not where I want it, so I'm gonna pick one note that I like and match all the other notes to that one note. This one, 
ba ba ba. I like that note. I'm gonna match the other ones to that one. pretty even. Let's see how that sounds. I like that a lot. I'm gonna see if the bottom head needs to come up a little bit more. I'm gonna bring it up like not even a quarter of a turn, just a hair. And you want your snares to be even on the bottom, even amount of space between the snares itself and the rim. And you want them just tight enough to where they don't freely move across the head, but not so loose to where you can hear them rattle all the time. Yeah, so there you go, there's the snare. I've got the bass drum right here. It's all tuned up like I like it, so I'm gonna bring it back down for you. All right, so you can hear it. Each lug is completely loose. Now I'm gonna go around and finger tighten everything. As I felt when I detuned my drum, it was really only on maybe two turns, maybe three full turns. So I'm not gonna go past that. I'm gonna try two full turns at first and see how that sounds. Just by going up a quarter of a turn each time to be safe. That was about a half a turn and we're gonna leave it just like that and I'm gonna flip it over and go to the rezzo head all right so all these are completely loose I'm gonna go around and finger tighten them all and I'm just gonna do about a quarter of a turn, maybe half a turn on some, if they feel extra loose. And some of these are still, there's still some play in those, so I'm going to tighten those up just a little bit. Just a hair. I want the front head barely tight. Just tight enough so it won't rattle. And this is ending up to be about half of a turn with the drum key. So like, just about 180 degrees. Let's see how this sounds.
pretty low. So I'm gonna bring the batter head up just a hair. So that should be good. It feels pretty tight. It's so dirty. All right, so. I think that's gonna be the no. It's like a smack. And I just have a pillow in here. And it's pushed up. If you can see it. It's pushed up against the batter head. And there you go. Pretty easy, right? And this is just how I tune my drums. So if you have any other tricks or tips or suggestions on a different way to do it, feel free to drop it in the comments below and I'll try it out. And if you ever get stuck at tuning and you just can't, no matter what you do, you can't get it, just start over. Loosen all the lugs, go back to just finger tightening everything and go around and start from scratch because that's helped me a lot when I just get really frustrated and sometimes it's better to just start over. The more times you try to tune your drums, the better you're gonna get at it. So just try it out. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, please.